Well, I tell you, Wilkins better be ready now. You know, Michael, this time down the floor. And you just know that Chicago's going to take advantage, are, are going to take the ball to that big guy. And you just know it. Tied right, right blocked by Doherty. And the aggressiveness has come back now for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Inside three minutes, Wilkins from the corner. That's a two. Cleveland by two, 96-94, 2.48 to go. It is deafening right now. Jordan ducks in, gets it to Grant, blocked by Hot Rod, but Grant reloads it. Even at 96. Now we anticipated this kind of game. Chicago made the good effort to get back in it. Cleveland has answered it for now. And the fans are on their feet right now. We have a foul on B.J. Armstrong reaching out on Brandon. I'll tell you, Brandon has played like a real veteran here tonight. That is a fourth foul on B.J. Armstrong. Well, it, it's obvious Lenny Wilkins has a lot of confidence in Terrell Brandon to have him on the floor in, in place of Mark Price right now. Brandon plays big in these situations. That was the 14 foul. One more, and Chicago's over the limit. Cleveland already is in the penalty. Approaching two minutes to go. Larry Nance, here's Grant knocking it away. It'll give him 10 seconds on the shot clock. 96-96 again. Cleveland trying to keep the season alive. Chicago trying to win their seventh straight playoff game. Nine if you go back to the last two games of the championship finals of last season. Nice job. Nice creating there. Wilkins. That is a three. Boy, he's hit baseline, baseline shots from both sides. And that tells you right there why Terrell Brandon's in the game. Watch the penetration here by Terrell Brandon into the paint. Handles the double team very well, just splits him and finds Wilkins. So Wilkins not only has played well defensively, but he's hit two key shots. He's the emotion that the Cavs so desperately need. Got the call from his brother Dominique after game one when Michael got 43. They talked about it, and he has played Michael better since then. 140 left. Wilkins trying to stay with Michael. He might have gotten a piece of that. Grant tries to pull it down. Jordan comes up with it, changes the shot, and he's fouled. Larry Nance is over there. Is it going to be on Nance? Let's wait and see. Nope, it's going to be on Brad Doherty. So that's a fifth on Brad. Larry Nance already playing with five personals. That's what I thought. I thought maybe he had fouled out, but instead now both Doherty and Nance with five. Oh, and you saw Grant just push Terrell Brandon out of there. That's the one area probably that having Terrell Brandon in the game right now will not be an asset, and that is if it's a foul situation, it will probably go against Brandon in every case because of his, his youth. It's a one-point game, 99-98. Jordan with 26 points in the ball game. Good job, Brandon, handling the pressure up the floor. Stolen by Armstrong. What a big steal that is. Pippen to Jordan Doherty. That'll be his sixth foul. As he fouls Pippen. And so Doherty is fouled out with now 116 left in the game and possibly played his last seconds of the season. And what a way to lose Brad Dorton. He did not score in the fourth quarter, but he had 25 points and 12 rebounds for the game. And in addition to everything else, he does not prevent the basket from no. going down. 199, a chance for a three-point play. Scott Williams coming into the ball game. And you see the push. Michael makes the basket and just sits. Yes, it's me once again. Jordan with 28 points, 20 in the second half. And he's hit those free throws down the stretch. And the Cavs have asked for a timeout. They're down by two. 
116 left in the season, possibly, for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Bulls 101, the Cavs 99. Cleveland now has one full timeout remaining. The Bulls with three plus a 20. And we are just talking a while ago, Brad Doherty fouling out of the ball game, did not prevent the shot by Jordan, ended up being a three-point play. It's one of those little lapses. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back. Yeah, it, you know, what, what can you say? I mean, Brad definitely is needed on the floor here for this team. I think he just has to understand the situation. I mean, you have five, give up the two points and stay on the floor. Instead, he commits the foul, gives up the basket, a three-point play, actually, to Michael. And now they find themselves down by two. Well, let's see. With uh, Doherty out of there, looks, they're going to come with Nance, Elo in the ball game, Hot Rod Williams, Terrell Brandon, and, of course, Gerald Wilkins, who hit those big shots. Now, they'll get much smaller, obviously, with Brad sitting much better game though tonight from brad 25 points the kind of game he needed we'll see if cleveland has enough here down the stretch to win this game without him the bulls now with four of their starting five in the lineup the only change is williams in place of bill cartwright minute 10 left two-point lead for chicago and nance trying to tie it up now it's going to be off of the bulls they have a fresh 24 second shot clock a minute five left being that has worked well for cleveland here is uh terrell brandon's ability to to beat the defense off the dribble and create shots we'll see if they'll go to that again here and they're going to call a timeout now that is their final timeout oh, a minute five to go mark price is coming to the ball game 101 99 chicago Jordan jumps out on Mark Price. And away from the ball, Horace Grant has committed the foul. Chicago obviously didn't want that. He got tangled up with Larry Nance. Well, that time Cleveland spread the floor very well with another shooter on the floor and Mark Price. Jordan had to come out. He couldn't lay back in there and try to get up, get set up for the double team. That put Nance in a one-on-one -on -one situation against Grant, forced the foul. Fourth foul on Horace Grant. Nance makes it a one-point game. And now Wilkins will come in. Brandon will leave. They got Wilkins back in because Jordan's down at the other end. They want somebody to stop him. And Cartwright comes in for Scott Williams. Now, this tough situation for Mark Price. He's been sitting over there a long time on the bench, has not played. He's outstretching now, trying to loosen up. He was... He will be called on here to guard B.J. Armstrong up the floor. That's for the tie as Nance has hit all four of his shots from the charity line. Less than a minute. Jordan with 10 seconds on the shot clock. I think Wilkins got a piece of it. Wilkins with excellent defense. Now, good job defensively. Gerald Wilkins has played tremendously well on both ends of the floor. And Cleveland now with a deadlock at 101. Runs into all kinds of problems. Elo comes up with it. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Elo, not there. Jordan saves it to Grant. Timeout, Chicago. 18.5 left. You know, I was talking about 1989. First round, the buzzer coming, and Michael Jordan with Craig Elo trying to track him down. Hits it, and Chicago advanced. Yeah, you just don't want that to happen. As I say, it's who's that guy, by the way? And who is that <laughs> with all the hair? <laughs> oh, Doug <laughs> Collins excited as well he should be. Of course, Michael's had a career high against these guys too. He had 69 points against Cleveland in 1990. Uh, I just think if Michael gets in the one-on-one situation, and you just know he is. You just have to come with a strong, aggressive double team. Force him to give it up. Now, the, re the real question for Cleveland right now is who do you leave to come to double team? Here we go. You see the time remaining. It's deadlocked at 101. Good job, Gerald Wilkins. Well, you just have to come. You just have to come. 2.5 seconds. Jordan again. Yeah. And you just have he to come. He has done it again. Almost from the same spot. Well, you know, you, you don't take the ball out of his hands. He give you a chance. Give a chance for things like that to happen. He 
is amazing. I just think you have to take the ball out of the guy's hand. This has happened far too many times. This series has ended on another remarkable effort by Michael Jordan at the buzzer. I mean, he just stands there. Cleveland stays back. They don't run anyone at him to force him to give it up. You give him this much time, and this is what's going to happen. 103-101 Chicago, and now they head on to the Eastern Conference Final. And Michael Jordan, just before you hit that shot, we showed your shot in 1969. Yeah. Well, you know, I had an opportunity. Uh, I, I got to give Joe Wilkins some credit. You know, he played a hell of a defensive play on me. He made me take a tough shot. You know, I made the tough shot. You know, we won the last shot, and uh, fortunately, it went down for me. Well, let's look at it again. 31 points, Michael. You had 24 in the second half. Let's look at it once again. Well, he knocks the ball away right here, which kind of knocks my rhythm off, and then I just had to back him up, and I saw a hot rod coming, and, you know, I knew I had three seconds, and I had to get a shot off. Michael, I said before the play even developed, everyone, of course, knows, knew it was going to go to you. I said you have to come over, force Michael to give the ball up. Once again, they didn't do that. They give you the chance to win the game again. Well, I was very surprised that they, uh, you know, once I got the ball, it was seven seconds. They didn't send someone over to double team me. And it gave me some room to work. And by the time they sent a second guy over there, you know, I had the room for the shot. Well, Michael, you said, I want to take care of business. I want to end this thing, get healthy, and get ready for the final. Will you accomplish that? Well, you know, it was a good win for us. You know, we, we really squandered away a lot of opportunities early. But we stayed in there. We hung in there. Our defensively, we got back into the ball game. And you got to give everyone credit, not just myself, but the team. We really have been playing good basketball up to this point. Well, the last two games, you started kind of tentatively with that wrist. But yeah. as the game wears on, you seem to get it all back together. I'm having a tough time getting it loose early. You know, uh, I'm thinking about it more than I want to. And finally, in the second half, I just let it go, you know. And you know, I got to get I got to get healthy so I don't think about it in the, in the first half. I got to get out of the blocks quicker. Now, now, Michael, I know you haven't had a chance to think about this, but uh, you look to the next round. The Knicks, the Knicks and Charlotte in a very tough series. Uh, which of those two teams would you rather play against? I think I know the answer, but but I want to hear it from you. Well, I, I think most people would pick the Charlotte Hornets, but, you know, I, I think that the, the, the challenge is there with the Knicks, and uh, we look forward to the challenge. It's not going to be easy. You know, they got the home court advantage. They got a very talented team, and for some reason, I'm a challenger, and I like to go against the best competition, and certainly the Knicks, I think, is going to win that series, and we look forward to it. You know, I thought it was interesting, and uh, in, in hearing your preparation for this series, you say every game now, you look for challenges. You took Gerald Wilkins uh, upon his word in the first game, had 43. Uh, you wanted everyone else to get involved in game two. It seems every game, you do something differently. What is your motivation for this next series? Well, the next series is to try to win one at, in New York. Uh, we, we know that they were a very strong defensive team, and we're going to have to move the ball quite a bit to make their defense work and certainly uh, keep Oakley and, and Mason off the boards and contain Ewing as much as possible. Thank well, you, Mike. you guys haven't lost yet in the playoffs. <laughs> well, we're playing good, and, uh, you know, we just got to take it game by game. Michael, thanks for coming over. Thank you. All right.